Hello, I'm Dr. David Roberts from Manchester West Veterinary Hospital and today we're going to talk to you about some of the drugs that we use very commonly in our practice, which are what we call a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug. An anti-inflammatory drug is a drug that reduces pain, but it actually goes to the source of the pain and it reduces that um, by, by working on the chemicals and working on some of the different um, things that are happening in a joint or in a back or what have you. What we talk about is we talk about there's different types of uses for this. Sometimes are post-operatively, so after surgery we would want to use a drug like Rimadyl or a drug like Medicam to actually reduce inflammation. But what we use these drugs for more oftenly is when a dog has, and more the dogs than the cats, when they have a chronic condition such as a hip problem or a knee problem or even an elbow shoulder problem. We kind of have a model here that shows how we see hip dysplasia as it starts to form arthritic changes. That is a big um, amount of bone scarring whereas this shows that it's actually fairly normal. We can actually see this on a radiograph or an x-ray and when we come over here we can see that this hip is not so bad as far as everything goes but this hip is actually starting to look like our one in the model. So when we use these drugs we use them first of all for post-surgical or chronic, um, I'm sorry, for acute or all of a sudden pain. Uh, in other words, a dog twists uh, a knee or something like that. The other thing though that we have to sometimes do is use these drugs for um, chronic pain, which is basically arthritic changes, and drugs that um, help with this are actually going to be very um, uh, good at getting that inflammation, getting some of that pain removed. Um, when I look at my dog, uh, look at Cruiser, he certainly has his times where he needs these drugs just like you or me. You might be working in the yard, you might actually overdo it per se, and you might need to take a drug and you might you know, be better with that. When we see this with our pets, we use the, the same sort of psyche. We want to make sure that we're using it as needed. There are some dogs though that do need it on a daily basis, and that's where these drugs are very important at helping these pets. One of the drugs that um, I talk to people about is we don't want to use the human drug. So I will pull up the ibuprofen and that particular medication is very, very caustic to, a, to an animal, to a dog. We don't ever want to use aspirin, ibuprofen, or acetaminophen, which is Tylenol, um, with our canine or feline patients. We want to stick with the drugs that work for them and the drugs that actually help them. So sometimes you're going to be using them for a short period. Sometimes you're going to have to use them for a chronic situation. And other times you're going to use them as needed, just like you or I would take a drug. My name is Dr. David Roberts from Manchester West Veterinary Hospital. Thank you.